What is up guys, today we'll be looking at most beautiful New York City buildings that are only preserved on photographs and videos. We'll be looking at four voluntarily demolished buildings that left a very sad commentary, the belief that new is better. New York Hippodrome was the largest and most successful theater in New York located on 6th Avenue. The Hippodrome housed all sorts of spectacles including circus animals, diving horses and 500 member choruses. In 1918, on the brightly lit stage, Harry Houdini made a 10,000 pound elephant disappear. When Houdini fired a pistol, Janine vanished from view. Elephants were later moved to the Bronx Royal Theater. Several attempts to use the Hippodrome for plays and operas failed, so Hippodrome was mainly used for late-run movies, boxing and wrestling. Structure's decline was caused by huge running costs and many producers failed to make money from the theater. Hippodrome closed on August 1939 and was eventually demolished. A large modern office building that uses the name Hippodrome Center opened on the site in 1952. City Investing Building was a 32-story structure with F-shaped footprint. Serving as the headquarters of the City Investing Company, this building was one of the New York's largest office buildings at a time. Its facade was divided into three horizontal sections, a base with four stories and a raised basement, a shaft with 21 stories and a capital with six stories and an attic. There was even a cellar below of the raised basement. City investing building was back then regarded as a monument to greed with its sheer size and was contrasting with the darker and more somber appearance of the nearby buildings. The city investing building was raised in 1962 to make room for one Liberty Plaza which had more floor area. Singer building was regarded as New York City icon during its existence. It was a headquarters of the Singer Manufacturing Company that made sewing machines. The building was composed of several distinct sections. The original 10-story Singer building got the adjoining 14-story Bohr building in 1899. Two buildings were then expanded to form 14-story base of the Singer Tower which rose another 27 stories. Visitors could use observation deck at 172 meters height for only 50 cents. However, observatory was closed by 1930s after two people jumped from the observatory and Singer Tower was nicknamed Suicide Pinnacle. In 1961, Singer Company moved to Rockefeller Center and United States Steel acquired the building. Singer Building along with City Investing Building was demolished in 1969 to make way for One Liberty Plaza. Singer Building was the tallest voluntarily demolished building in the world. Pennsylvania Station was perhaps the most beautiful structure ever built. Penn Station was a historic railroad. Its headhouse and train shed were considered a masterpiece of bow art style. The waiting room was inspired by Roman baths of Caracalla and had a 148 feet high covering ceiling. The building was decorated with sculptures of eagles and maidens, one representing day, the other night. Whenever American presidents or other countries' presidents would arrive in New York by rail, it would be the Penn Station. In 1945, station had served more than 100 million passengers and was busiest during World War II. With the beginning of the jet age, air travel became the glamorous way to get around. In the late 1950s, black dirt covered the interior and exterior of the structure. Whole station had been allowed to deteriorate. In 1962, plans for smaller Madison Square Garden were announced and just a year later, demolition of Pennsylvania Station began. Sculptures were ripped apart, unceremoniously dumped. Architectural historian Vincent Scully compared the new and old stations by writing One entered the city like a god, one scuttles in now like a rat. During the 60s, lots of buildings in the city were demolished or threatened with demolition. The demolition of Penn Station led to creation of the New York City Landmarks Preservation Commission to protect historically significant buildings. Grand Central Terminal was another victim of demolition in 68, but was saved by Landmarks Commission and today is one of the world's 10 most visited tourist attractions. As of July 2020, this agency has designated more than 37,000 landmark properties around the city. 
For me, personally, the Malishino Pennsylvania station truly shocked me and saddened me the most. Even though rails weren't used as much as they used to with beginning of jet age and highways, if Penn Station wasn't demolished, such a beautiful structure would probably be today's world attraction. Thank you guys as always for being interested in my videos. Let me know down in comments what building you wish still exists today.